Hey, I'm back with another creative cooking video. I want to talk to you about iodized salt. You know, we were raised with iodized salt. The popular opinion these days is to get away from this and start using your fancy Himalayan pink, pink Himalayan salt or your sea salt or your Morton's, I mean, no, kosher salt. And so I've been getting away from this and my doctor said my blood tests are coming back low in iodine and, and salt. And she said, I recommend you go, you use the iodized salt. Now this is just a hint for you all, just a little bit of advice. You can take it or you leave it. Don't, don't neglect your iodized salt. It really is necessary. You've been using it all your life and when you quit using it, then you start, then your doctor tells you you've got problems. <clears throat> what we're going to make this morning is, is I'm, I'm tired of cooking normal everyday breakfast. I discovered, <coughs> excuse me, um, how to make eggs really fluffy. I've got four eggs in here. at my age, you swallow a funny way and, and then you can't talk. Okay. Um, things just happen to us old folks. What I'm going to put in here is I've got four eggs. I've got low-fat plain yogurt. I usually use uh, fat-free, but it's not always hard. And I like to use organic, but I can't find the organic all the time. So this is just Greek low fat. And I'm putting two tablespoons, two big heaping spoons really, in here. And you know, when you store yogurt or anything that has a dairy base, always smooth the, the top open, the, the top across. It leaves less places for bacteria to, to get inside of. Okay, now I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm just going to whip this yogurt into the eggs. You have to whip it really good. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to melt the margarine in here. I'm going to put it on low and let it start melting. I'm I'm using this is this is I, I put iodine salt in here so I've, I've got a combination of iodized and Himalayan. I'm going to put some pepper in here. Now this is just eggs, yogurt, pepper, and you want to really mix it up homogeneously. That's a big word, homogeneous. I like saying it, homogeneous. It means it's all evenly distributed. Okay, now, now that you've had your big word lesson, Get rid of this. And spread this butter around. Oh, and the eggs I use, every time I find a, a local source for farm eggs, something always happens. So I'm back to using eggs at the grocery store now, but I try to get organic and cage-free. I know, pasture-raised, I know they're lying to you, but at least in good, all good conscience, I'm doing the best I can to, to be mindful of animals. Now, these aren't just going to be just 
any old omelet. This this I actually am making an omelet. I never even mentioned to you what I was making. Okay, let's get rid of this. And while that omelet is warming up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to oh this was open. I'm going to have to. I'm going to take a couple of tortillas. I know you, it says one at a time. I'm lazy. I know, I don't listen to what people say all the time. <laughs> I don't follow directions. I know. You got to know the rules to break the rules. So while that's getting warmed up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these tortillas in this pan to warm up very low. Actually, I'm going to very, very low. And I'll just let them warm up. You know what? I'm going to use this to cover this. See how that is? And that way I can bake the omelet. Now you probably know how to make an omelet. Um, one of the things, one of the tricks I, I, choose to do and I turn this over at once let me turn this over oh, I'm burning my fingers trying to get to them let me turn this over the one in the middle will get warm after after your omelet has set for a little bit you can lift up the edge just and if, and if it starts getting set, and that's not set soon enough, just lift, I just lift the edge of it, if it's solid enough to lift, and tilt the pan, and that lets the, um, the eggs that are running on top run underneath the ones that are... Hold on. Let's watch this happen for a little bit. So what I'm going to do with the tortillas is I'm going to cut that um, omelet after I fold it over. I'm going to cut the omelet up into thirds and put one on, a piece on each one of these tortillas and make my husband a breakfast burrito. After I warm the tortillas up, I'm going to put, spread some cream cheese on them. I don't, I'm not trying to get the tortillas hot. It's just that I kept them in the refrigerator and um, I just don't want them to be, I'm going to, in fact, I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to put this over this one. There you go, keep those warm. See, see how I do this? Just kind of lift up the bottom edge. See how that happens? I hope you're watching this. <laughs> and that way you have more, you're exposing more of the A. See how I'm using that, that lid? Okay, this is almost done. I'm going to get the plates and you know, I used to, I've been cooking breakfast for 51 years. And I'm just so tired of doing the same thing every day. I have to do something a little bit unusual. And I'm sorry I'm leaving you over there watching that stuff cook. Whoops. Let's see if we can get this. Yeah, this thing's almost done. Look, see, see how that, 
lid has helped cook the top of this. Ooh, watch this. The yogurt makes the omelet real tender. Okay. In fact, I'm going to turn this far way down on the lowest possible setting. Breakfast is almost ready, folks. I hope you're hungry. I know Raul would like to come over and eat. Wouldn't you, brother? So I'm just going to take this cream cheese. I'm, I'm going to just, but you know, spread it like I would butter. And since the tortillas are kind of warm, <laughs> it is spreading like butter. I'm just going to do one of them so you can see. Oh, that created quite a... Now watch this. I'm going to cut this in thirds. Well, that's going to make... That's real fluffy. Look, look at this. Look how fluffy this is. Oh, you can't see that. See how fluffy that is? I didn't realize you couldn't see me getting it out of the pan. I'll show you the pan in just a minute. See, I'm just folding this up. And there's one breakfast burrito. Here, check this one Check this out. See, I, I, I cut the, I, I was doing this off camera, oh. but I cut these, um, oh, there's, there's my breakfast <laughs> eater. I do have a guest Look at that. for breakfast. Yeah. Now did, that's about it. I'm going to cover this one with the um, cream cheese and put the other one. That'll give that, it a nice flavor. Yeah. yeah. And then I will have cooked breakfast for my husband one more time and i hope i have a lot of time left to keep cooking breakfast for him okay now watch me do i'm going to do this one more time for you all there it goes oh, there it goes yeah. <laughs> and then i just kind of roll it up kind of make it into a roll Mm. And now he's probably going to add some hot sauce to it. Yeah, something mild. So, there you go, folks. Enjoy your breakfast. Thank you. Praise Hallelujah. Be the bride. Praise I love you. Praise Yahushua.